this was like my fifth year to go and my first year I was like wandering around like hi I'm Rachel like you don't know who I am and I don't know who you are but let's be friends and they weren't really having it but then you know next year I worked a little smarter I started like focusing on who was coming and I started like like, oh, these are some cool brands I want to meet. So instead of being overwhelmed by half a million square foot, square feet of, of retail space, I started being like, oh, this brand is trendy and sexy and that fits my vibe. This is very Rachel Zoe, I love her, done. So I started like choosing instead of just like throwing cards out like I was making it rain. And then the next year, I started following the hashtag of the event and being like, oh, like, dude, I can sit in my hotel room before I come in and like start to be like, oh, love this. this is Cool, let's be friends and so then instead of like wandering around and starting to feel bad about myself because I was like not naturally good at that I figured out a way that I could be smarter and hit some more success and then this past year literally just a couple months ago or a month ago I have no idea what day it is <laughs> um, I, I was able to do a couple meet and greets and a couple speaking engagements and things like that so I was able to have genuine conversation and in that case I was already kind of putting myself out there right just like I'm doing right now I'm already telling you guys this is who I am. I talk very fast. I'm from trailer parks. I, I you know, I, I work really hard. I'm passionate about what I do. But, you know, that's who I am. And I'm not trying to change who that is in every room like a chameleon. I used to do that. I'm not gonna lie. I think a lot of us probably have, if we're honest. You know, it's it's more comfortable to be like, if this is what you want as a designer or as a, a marketing guru, this is who I'll be. But then when you start to feel more confident and you start to kind of find your sea legs, you're like, this is who I am. Like, I'm not trying to be conservative. This isn't my vibe. I'm trying to be this, right? So once you're kind of doing these cool blocks, and I know it sounds a little bit like all over the place when you think about like, oh wait, is it emotional? Is it business? But it's really both, right? Because in business, we're just relationships connecting. Like whether it's a retailer that you want to sell your clothes in, or it's a potential client for marketing that you want to work with, or a celebrity you want to style. They're humans, right? So at the end of the day, feeling comfortable to be yourself and to invite them to do the same creates relationship. And when it comes to working with people, it comes down to three things, okay? Do I like you? How can you make me rock? And prove you can do it. If they don't like you, they're never gonna go to number two. They're certainly never gonna get to number three. So it's important that first, before you get into a room and think, oh my gosh, I gotta like show you everything I've got, just win them over. Just build a good rapport with them, right? And just get comfortable. And the way that you do that is by knowing who you are and feeling really confident in it. Because then you're not afraid to say like, hey, this is what we're working with. And you probably have a more positive, less judgmental perspective about them and life in general. So then you're able to actually connect with them in a deeper, more organic way to where even if they don't buy your piece right now, or even if you, know, you guys never go into a business relationship together, you still have this opportunity to create a great relationship, get advice, you know, maybe they have a friend who's perfect for you. You know, maybe they have a, a retail partner who's like amazing and just because they love you, they want to help you out. I think when we start to like take it down a notch and you know, we were talking about earlier, like what do you want to do with your life, right? Because when you're graduating, it's like, oh, don't ask me that. No, you like start twitching in the corner. <laughs> it's scary, I know. But like what's cool about it is when you humanize it, which is really what I'm trying to do right now, right? I'm humanizing this whole experience because in entertainment, my brand is very much me, right? Like, obviously. I didn't know she was doing a little poster, but thank you so much. <laughs> but, you know, like, I'm putting myself out there literally and figuratively, right? But, you know, it comes to a point where you have to get comfortable with that. But when you do, that's when you kind of release the veil. And you just are able to say, full on, this is where I'm at. And that's where that relationship can really grow. So you build a brand and you center it around who you are as a person and, and what you want to do. If you haven't done your brand filters yet, I have a cool little exercise. We don't have to do it right now. Don't worry. I'm not going to turn this into a classroom. <laughs> I know that you've got really capable teachers and leaders here who can take you through that. Um, but one really cool exercise that, that you can do is you grab like a stack of post-its and you start writing one to two word adjectives. Just describe who you are, right? Trendy, sexy, maybe it's conservative, maybe it's aspirational, um, edgy, fun, rocker, whatever it is, right? You kind of get your vibes out and just start writing them, one on each post-it note and just start putting it on the wall. A really cool way to expand this a little bit bigger is to pull in a friend to do it with you. Because if you can get a friend to do it with you, then they start seeing things that maybe you didn't see about yourself. Just ask them honestly, like, hey, what do you see? And ask them to be honest with you, but also like in a positive way. Like they don't need to be like, oh, I think that you are annoying. Like that's never something that should make it up on the wall. Let's just be real. 
But when you start doing that, and then you kind of like start getting a vision, and then sometimes, like even just for me, right? If I sat down and had like a 15 minute conversation with the majority of you, I could probably help you figure out your brand. Just because you don't know it, but you're actually telling me as you're talking. And that's what's really cool about this exercise is because you're flushing it out of you and you're putting it up so you can look at it. And then you're like, oh wait, there's like kind of a theme here, right? Like if, you're, if your brand filters are in contradiction, then you can double tap on that and be like, well why exactly are these not aligned? Why am I over here but also over here? My husband calls me 31 flavors like Baskin Robbins. <laughs> He's from Kentucky, I'm from Georgia, so Baskin Robbins is a very normal thing to compare me to apparently. But, you know, I struggled with that a little bit when I was building my brand because I was kind of like literally all over the wall. <laughs> and I was like, wait, but like, I want to be inspirational, but I'm also sassy AF and I'm not going to play. You know what I mean? There's like, I saw you raise an eyebrow and you can relate, I know. <laughs> but you know what I'm saying? Like, so you start to see that stuff and then what's cool about it is that maybe this is the wall of progress, but the wall that you end up on where you actually select the ones that you want doesn't have to be all of this, right? There can be parts of you that you hold back because you want to keep it private. Or maybe you can even take another little bonus piece that I do is I'll take five extra post-its and I'll put them on kind of like my completed wall of the things I want to be rever like referred to, right? So, cause sometimes like where you are might not be where you want to end up, hopefully, right? <laughs> Otherwise, you're probably exactly where you are next year and the year after. So we always want to have like a little bit of an aspiration, right? A role model, something that pulls us into a different direction. So what's cool about this is that if you're taking all these brand filters that are